Reef farming in Africa, maintaining and creating habitat. As a reef farmer in Africa, I have created a lot of biodiversity. I would like to share with you how I have done this. My name is Pinias Mutweri Kabaka. I'm working with KEC as a crop manager. So what is biodiversity? Biodiversity is variation of life within an ecosystem. This means uh, all forms of life that are in an ecosystem, including insects, including trees, including birds, including snakes, uh, rats, and all other life that is available in an environment. More biodiversity means you are going to have more beneficial insects, which instead of using chemicals, these insects can be used to control pests in the field. Two things you can do to encourage biodiversity. One is to maintain the natural biodiversity that is already in the farm. Two is to create new uh, habitat. Let me show you what I've done to maintain the biodiversity. Around here is a strip of an eucalyptus. land. It is a source of flowers, grass, and then the wood behind me, and green trees behind me. All these are good components in maintaining a good biodiversity. All areas of biodiversity in the farm have been identified. These are areas that are rocky. These are areas that have got canals or other natural elements that have been identified and maintained as uh, biodiversity areas. It doesn't cost any money to do this. You just leave the nature to do what it's supposed to do. And this is what can be done in all the farms, no matter how uh, the, farm, the small the farm is, either medium, small or large. There is something that I also want to share with you. Where we have big trees, we keep them. Um, the area around the tree is preserved as a conservation area and it is not interfered with completely. You can look at the farm with fresh pair of eyes and see what biodiversity you have and how to keep it and preserve it. No matter how much biodiversity you have in your farm, you can always create more. And one method of creating more biodiversity is by planting trees. This tree that you can see here is called firebrick. Um, it has been planted three months ago. We normally plant trees in this farm during the uh, long rain and the short rain, but still we take time and maintain them through watering and conserving the area around the trees so that they won't be destroyed by animals or people. This is another example of creating biodiversity in the farm. I have planted a long uh, row at the edge of the farm of a plant called Sesebania. The benefit of this crop to me as a farmer is it acts as a windbreak and it is a natural habitat for beneficiaries in the farm. You will always find birds nesting inside this crop. You will always find insects feeding on the flowers. And you will also find other small animals beneath this plant. You notice I leave dead leaves and branches below the plant. The dead material creates a lot of habitat for insects and other small organisms. This place is like a whole city of life. Also, if you are keeping livestock, you can also cut and feed this plant to your animals and it is very nutritious, it's very rich in protein and um, it will give you returns in future. Creating and maintaining biodiversity is not only giving the creatures uh, places to live, but also it's about giving them food and especially to insects. That's why I plant lots of these flowers around the farm so that um, insects and bees can always have plenty of food. They feed 
on nectar inside the flowers and all these flowers are planted to give the insect plenty to eat. You can probably tell I just love biodiversity and I encourage you wherever you are farming in Africa um, to create uh, a good awareness and continue loving biodiversity the way I do.